I was raised in Richmond, Vermont, the last of eight kids. It was a great childhood. My brother Tim and I mowed the church and cemetery lawns, pumped gas at the local full-serve station, and played a lot of basketball. But I didn't need to wait to go to law school or become a lawyer to learn about drug abuse, mental health issues, and violent crime. My oldest brother Chris began using drugs in college. He developed severe mental illness. Sometimes the police rushed to our house because he had become violent. He was repeatedly hospitalized. Sometimes he'd just disappear. I was in college at St. Michael's working at a lumberyard when Chris took off again. I just finished my shift when my sister came through the lumberyard gate unexpectedly. She was crying. My brother Chris's body had been found in New York City in Central Park. He'd been living on the street. He'd been murdered. This is part of the reason why I decided to go to law school. So I moved to Washington, D.C., got a full-time job, and put myself through law school at night. Two weeks after I graduated, I moved back to Vermont. I opened my own practice and got a public defender contract representing adults and children accused of crime, abuse, and neglect. I rose to become president of the Vermont Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers and developed a successful litigation practice. Along the way, I went on a blind date that led to marriage, moved to Williston, and became a father of two high-spirited and independent young women. I've been on the Williston Planning Commission and School Board, and I currently serve as Vice Chair of the Williston Select Board. I understand firsthand the need for both criminal justice reform and public safety. We don't have to choose between safe streets and reform any more than we have to choose between compassion and fairness. We can have all those things if we listen to and work with each other, but we can't have any of them if we don't have all of them. I want to give people a sense of hope that they feel is lacking. Many victims, victim advocates, members of the BIPOC community, and members of the LGBTQ community. Working together, we can create a system that provides public safety and is infused with racial and economic equity. I'll work hard. I'll listen to everyone, even people I don't agree with. We can do this together. If you agree with these ideas, I ask that you go to tedforstatesattorney.com and sign up as a volunteer or contribute if you can. Thank you very much.